All right, so we are back after a little bit of a hiatus. Um, obviously, you guys know we left off at the end of my Arnold Classic training for Ohio. The plan was to regroup when I got back and vlog my last week of training for the Arnold UK. That did not happen. I am sure most of you probably already know. You probably already follow me on other platforms or follow Strongman in general. Uh, I did not end up competing in the UK. We had a little bit of an oopsie on the last event in Columbus. Uh, minor injury, um, ultimately fine. Uh, but I did have a, a, a minor bicep injury, a um, little bit of a muscle belly tear. Tendons intact, everything's fine, it's gonna heal. It's already feeling so much better. Um, but I was not confident about my ability to make it through another really heavy show two weeks later without turning it into something that was far worse. So um, a lot of back and forth, but made the tough decision to not compete. Uh, you know, ultimately I want to be doing the sport for a really long time and that requires making smart choices. So it was a hard choice, but I think the right one. Um, arm is feeling mostly better I think another 10 days and I'll be back to like normal training but I have not been training since the, the Arnold Columbus so due to a variety of factors one my, my arm was pretty unusable for a week or two there um, and then just that paired with I got sick and then the travel and then a little bit of a, a little bit of a pity party I'll admit um, I had a hard time with choosing to pull out of the show but we are back. Uh, I still went to the UK to support and to, to work at the Silverback stand. Um, I wanted to still be part of the experience. Uh, you know, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. So I'm very happy to have still been there to support my friends, to meet some new people. It was a great weekend, but we are back. We're back home. We got home yesterday. I'm probably not going to start training, like really training again until next week. Um, and even then, we're probably just going to ease into it a little bit. But it's been so long since I've really been in the gym. And the longer I spend out of the gym, the harder it is to get back in. So I am back today. I'm just going to do um, a little bit of movement. My plan was to pick a CrossFit workout to do just for some conditioning. But um, a friend of mine is finishing up her leg day and finishing with a really shitty sounding leg finisher. So I am instead going to reroute and do that with her. Um because I want to suffer with someone. Uh, so I don't know what we're doing quite yet, but I'm going to head out, um, probably walk on the treadmill a little bit, and then we are going to burn out our legs. Um, and it's going to be terrible. So we'll be back to like regularly scheduled vlogging my like structured training again next week. Um, but I also don't want to get out of the habit of doing this. Uh, so instead of waiting until I'm on a program, I just wanted to start back up because I miss doing this. I want to keep you guys involved. Um, and it, it's been too long. So I'm going to go get warmed up a little bit and then I'll see you back when we're ready to die. <laughs> All right, you want to s explain what we're doing? Um, it's called a suffer set and you can blame that guy and the grout fit right there for it. Uh, we're going to do 100 reps. You have to stay clipped in. Uh, it's only 25 pounds, but it's heels up, so that means it's quad depth. On what? On what? So so are, <laughs> is this go time? It's go time. Let's go time. <sighs> 10 more? No. <sighs> 21. 21 left. Oh, I miscounted severely. There's, there's 80. Come on. Home stretch, home Come stretch. Come on. We're not stopping. You got it. Come on, go. Six. Five. Four. Come on, bust them out. Three, two, one. We're worried I won't be able to stay back up. <laughs> two. Come on. Last one. Now we. That looks, that looks terrible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me just uh, come down here for a second. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> well, now you gotta do it all in one set. Apparently. So I don't feel bad. Oh my god, though. Jesus Christ. It really doesn't start hitting you until about 30 in. Then it's just a mental game. Okay. You got it. <sighs> I'll count. 
discount for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, just 10 left. I haven't trained like this in a while. It, you said you want a CrossFit S. I did. This is, <laughs> this is definitely this is it. it. This is it. I can't remember the last time I did 100 reps with anything. <laughs> You got five left. Come on. Breathe and go. Four. Three. Two. One more. One. Woohoo! Oh, I know. Where does this go? Well, you went down to go over here. One second. Um, oh, there we go. It's light enough that we can do that. <laughs> I'm stuck. I know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here. Right side, we can leave it all set up because Billy needs to use it. <laughs> now what? Now we get to go use a very fun machine. The inverse curl. It's, oh no. It combines all the wonderful parts of a GHD as well as a leg curl all into one machine. And as you can see, it's really adaptable to whatever size of person you are. Thankfully, Aaron and I are about the same height, so we can keep it at the same spot. And what are we doing? Um, I need to check. I actually don't know exactly what we got going. I think it's like sets of six to ten. Oh. Yeah. There's so many reps for this. Yeah. <sighs> nice. I will say this part of the workout was not disclosed to me when I agreed. <laughs> I you? did. I said inverse curl. I guess I blocked it out. <laughs> I don't hate these ones. I just hate how this wants yep. to be right at my right ass. in your butthole. Yep. That I could do without. Oh, my quads still aren't working. Yeah. Whew. That is coming out of it. I was definitely shaking. Oh, I know what I was going to say. There you go. Oh, my quads can't stretch back this far. No, that's why oh, I was okay. shaking. I couldn't get the stretch. But I knew I needed it. Holy shit. My guilty pleasures is watching people face plants on this. Honestly, <laughs> it's so fun. When it happened to Lucas, I felt bad. <laughs> but then I was like, I, there's always a part of me that initially feels bad, and then I'm like, because we've all been there. We've all been. We've Especially all done since it. you're like, uh, I think the first time that I had it in my program, he was like, okay, just play around with some weight. Start with half your body weight. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that felt really easy. And then I took like a whole plate off. And I was like, oh, no. I made a mistake. I made a huge <laughs> mistake. I made a grave miscalculation. But the bright, I mean, you can just push yourself off the bottom. Yeah. And that's why it's like, it's only funny because everyone's fine. Oh, yeah. Hello. I'm not used to doing blocks. Um, <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> so we have SSB which I'll show you what that bar looks like soon. But we have to go all the way down the turf and all the way back with 115 pounds on our back. I have a feeling by the fact that I think it's going to be really easy that it's probably going to ruin us. Um, I'm going to say right now walking is hard. <laughs> so I think as soon as I put an SSB and I go like this, I'll be like... I might not get back up. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. 
It's Aaron's turn for some fun. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I almost fell about five times just filming you. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you bail an SSB? Um, <laughs> no, you got this. Really, it's just like, <laughs> oh no. Now you know what I mean, oh, no. right? Jesus. You can turn all the way around. Just watch out for that chalk bucket. Okay. Okay. One step at a time. I don't know if I can do one. You can do it. I, I took a deep breath before each one to brace. <laughs> you can do it. One step at a time. Boom. so badly to take bigger steps. But you can't. And I just can't. Have I thanked you enough today for joining me? <laughs> just a few more steps, we're almost there. <laughs> one more step. That's it. Just one. Boom. Shit. Okay. All right. Do you recommend this exercise to your followers? That's a 10 out of 10, people. I know when they're talking about that Ariana Grande song. It's not leg day, but bitch, we be walking side to side after that. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Good night. It's just time for a little nap. All right, what's our one more thing? I'll preface this as, I don't know, we're not doing the Rogue 50 Cal Challenge, but apparently we are, because it's the Rogue 50 Cal Challenge. No, I think I'm busy. <laughs> Be in a minute. It will not be in probably two minutes. But you know what? We're gonna get it done. We're done. Um, I'm not. Does the concept to two bike do calories? It does, but it's way easier um, because it's a bike erg. I, it'll suck, but so it is what it I is. I might. Well, here's my camera. <laughs> so. Not because I'm a little bitch, but a little bit because no, I'm a no, little bitch. No, 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 no. I will be doing the concept two bike because my arm has a boo boo. Um, should I do more calories then? How about, How about I will just go until you're done? I was just gonna suggest that. Yeah, so, yeah. She just has to go until I'm done, which so, is probably gonna be, I'm hoping, two and a half minutes. So she's doing 50 calories, and I'm just sprinting until she's done on a different bike. Yeah. Um, and it's gonna be. Terrible. Yeah, um, if you've ever been on an assault bike or an echo bike or done CrossFit, you know that that is basically just suffer. You just suffer. Yep. Your heart rate goes through the roof in like 10 seconds. You're probably up there in that like 160, 170. Like your heart's, it's working. But last thing? Yeah, it's the last thing. Last thing. Also, I love that we're unintentionally matching because, you know, like the blue. Sure. Nice. Planned it. Meant to be. Meant to be. And my quad oh. is getting out like with every movement that I do. <laughs> I'll try not to make us like stay on here too long. I'm really gonna try to make sure that we get through it fast. I just gotta pick one song that's gonna hype me up for this entire thing, and then we'll be good, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. One eternity later. Oh. Well, uh, it wasn't two and a half minutes, it was three and a half minutes. Whew. I'm 
Morty, if I get off, I'll fall down. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You're doing great. I mean, do you want to hop in for 50 calories and see how you feel? It's, it's, it's a good thought. time. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. We're just gonna have a sit. Yeah, but sit and chat. So, how are we feeling? Surprisingly, with the echo bike, I don't think people think about the push and pull, but my arms feel just as dead as my legs right now. How did that work out compared to your normal training? This is the first week of a new block, so we're in an off season, so it's a lot about, we're in a cut like most people, right? You know, we're getting ready for bikini season or whatever you're doing. Um, so people naturally try to like fluctuate losing weight after they bulk over the winter seasons. So we're trying to maintain strength while still dropping body fat. And so each workout gets a little bit harder. You find those new thresholds, yeah. for sure. Okay, that was tough. Um, I'd say I used to consider myself um, more athletic and well-conditioned for my sport compared to my, my competitive peers. Um, with going up weight classes though, the last while, but six months especially, have been really focused just on getting stronger because that's where I was weak. Um, my weakness was just my static strength, so we put in a lot of time and effort just on getting my static strength up. Um, and some of my more athletic and conditioned qualities kind of fell behind a little bit, which was okay for the Arnold because it's not a super athletic or endurance heavy show. Um, but I can tell that I've lost a lot of that and want to get it back. So um, that'll be a Aaron zero Nicole one on this workout for today. Oh. But what people aren't seeing, um, because I don't think you started your vlog yet, there's another workout that was happening here probably like right leading up to US OSG. Yeah. And Erin was doing the assault bike, and then she was doing sled drags back and forth. And I was like, hot damn, because at that point I was training up for nationals. Mm. So I was going for the one rep, and I was like, damn, Erin's conditioned because I couldn't do that right now. So it's just different and, seasons of training. Yeah, I think it's important to recognize and, and learn that different parts of the year you're gonna struggle with some things and be better at other things. And, and this journey isn't about being good at everything all the time. No. It's about being good at the right things at the right times. And yeah. depending on what shows you have coming up, depending on what your off-season goals are, depending on what the point of a block is, it's impossible to work on every aspect of fitness all the time without, oh, yeah. without falling apart. No, so it's some things always gotta give. Yeah, so it's okay to not be good at everything all the time because I was not good at this today, but I also haven't done shit like this in but, like six months, so it's okay. Yeah. I haven't done a hundred reps of anything and I don't even know how long, and I cannot stand right now, and that's okay. Well, it's your own fault. You walked in and you were like, oh, I'm gonna do a CrossFit <laughs> workout. I was like, why would you do a CrossFit workout when you can just hop in and do what I'm doing if you wanna do legs? It was a mistake. <sighs> <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> No, that was good though. That's what I needed today. Yeah. Okay. It's good lactic flush. Yeah. I feel like now that my heart rate's kind of coming back down to normal, that's when the endorphins kick in, right? I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Now I feel like that wasn't that bad. No. We're looking dewy. <laughs> it's all good. Every glisten. So. Yeah. so yeah, this is probably what the next like week is going to look like for me. I'm going to start back on like a scheduled like training officially on Sunday. Um, but we'll probably keep some of the stuff in just because it's falling behind and I need to get it back. So um, I don't know what the next block looks like, but I'll see you guys on Sunday for that. All right. Well, that's a wrap for today. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, all the things. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. And I will see you on Sunday.